Hello paint friends, I'm working with Arteza gouache paints today. Do you have to go buy these? No, you don't. You can totally use your acrylic paint. Water is your friend here. Um, this is just what I picked to choose, picked to work with today. I can use whatever kind of paints um, for this. This is a beginner, super easy. I'm gonna teach you how to do a beach scene with a palm tree silhouette. This is intimidating if you haven't done it before, but trust me when I say I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. Don't ever be afraid to paint. You can always paint over if you think it sucks, which not any art sucks. Every art is awesome. So water is our friend here, and so is our paper towel. I've got a Santorini stone and a little water thing. Um, let's go ahead and do a perfect line uh, just so we have our vanishing point and let's start with the sky I'm trying not to touch the yellow into my pencil mark because I don't want to drag that gray so I just mixed a little bit of white in just to pop that yellow and then the name of the game right now is back and forth okay so we're going to do one color. We're going to start with our our lightest where we meet the ocean. And then we're going to go back and add the next color. And then we're going to go back and touch the yellow. So now we're adding pink. Then we are going to go back and touch the orange. So I made a mistake here and I want you to see it. So I got pink into that orange. Didn't want to do that. Swiped it off with my finger. Went back with that orange. The name of the game is back and forth. So we're going to put a color down, go to the next color. We're going to stop and go back to the original color and make them meet. That's how you get this really nice blend. If you have too much water, like I did right there, um, it's going to wash out the color. So all you have to do is wipe that brush on your paper towel, get started again in that color. Here I added way too much water to my blue, which is obvious because it's kind of transparent, but that's okay. Mistakes are fine here. This is a back and forth. It's totally okay. So let's go back here and put some more purple and go back in with our blue. See? No biggie. All you have to do is go back and forth, back and forth. I know it sounds silly, but it's totally true. So let's do the same thing at the bottom. Let's take our lightest blue for our water. Um, in retrospect, I should have done my sides, but I was busy working on my blends. So I didn't do that, but you guys can do that if you want to. Right here, I'm moving on to my second blue. I'm not washing my brush out for this one. And then I'm not gonna wash my brush again, and I'm gonna go back up here because the name of the game is back and forth. I'm going to use my fingers as an anchor here. I can't stand painting on the table. Kudos to you guys that can do it, but it makes me crazy. I have to hold the <laughs> I have to hold the rock. I don't know why that is. So I use the uh, fingers underneath of the rock to anchor myself so that I'm painting straight. So back and forth. Let's go back to our middle color, blend that in into our darkest blue let's rinse that out and let's go down to our lighter blue and back and forth now we have what we wanted all right let's let that dry um i paused the video for a while here and let's get a piece of paper and see what we're doing first so we don't you know historically do shelly style and screw it up so looking at the size of my rock that's way too big right so Let's put a little bit of water into our black and let's get a smaller brush. I like an angled brush for this one. And if anybody has any kind of questions about what brush I'm using, these are El Cheapo brushes, the cheapest ones that you can get at Joann's. Um, this one is so well used, in fact, that it is scruffy and rank. Is that okay? Yeah, it's totally fine. We're just doing kindness rocks. Um, nothing has to be perfect here. We're just having fun with it. And do like I did. Grab a piece of paper. See if you have the right brush size. If you're like on the piece of paper, if it's way too big, switch to a smaller brush. If on the paper it's way too small, switch to a larger brush. Um, famous here for starting these off too high. So I put my hands down. You can see in a circle, that's where I want my palm leaves. So let's start this down for a little bit so we don't crowd it up at the top. I don't want to start right on the waterline, but I don't want to go way up into the sky either because that's where my brushes are going. 
Um, I don't know about you, and you can do as many leaves, fronds, palm fronds as you would like, but for some reason when I do palms, I like an even number. I don't know why that is, but that's what it is. If I'm short on space, I go with five. If I have a lot of room like this, I will go with seven. So I'm doing seven right now, and I'm just not neatly making kind of a mess here. It's totally okay. We're going to go back and fix it. Um, just doing seven um, bases, and then I'm going to go back and paint them up. There you go. Not neat. Some mistakes. Totally fine. Doesn't matter. You're going to add white, or excuse me, uh, water to your brush, to your paint. Um, and then you're just going to do like I did on paper. Of course, you're going to make the lines, the first lines that you do closest to the center, a little bit smaller. And then you're going to start dragging those down as you go on. Remember when you get to the tip, you don't want to do them real super low because then it kind of offsets it, but there is no palm tree that's exactly perfect and exactly symmetrical. So any way that you paint it is completely fine. You're learning, you're doing something new, it's totally fine. There are mistakes in art and that's what makes it beautiful. This doesn't have to be perfect. I've done 1.5 billion of these and it's been a very long time since I've done one and for some reason today I just felt like taking a mental trip to the beach so here we are. So I'm going to keep going on around. I like to do the inside first um, and the outside. Well I guess there is no inside and outside because it's left or right. Um, <laughs> I like to do the part that's facing the ground first I guess and then go back to the one that's touching the sky. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just doing small, simple strokes like you saw me do on paper. Super easy. You can totally do this. Just add some water to your black. Don't do too much, just get a little bit. If it's too dry, run back with some water. No problem. There we go, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I don't need tons, I wanna swipe some of it off because I don't want it to drip and run. But the whole point is to get it to be a little bit fluid. Now let's go back in here where it's not as thick and it's showing some of my disastrous painting. I'm going to go right back there in the center. Okay, I like it. Now, you guys can do this. It's totally fun, totally easy. Take a shot. Have fun. It's just painting after all. Now you know me. Let's glitter it up a little bit. I'm not going to do mega glitter on here because I've already painted the leaves, but let's just touch the water with a little bit of blue just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I've got Deco Art Holographic Illusions. I think it's called Enchanted Blue. I'm not sure what the descriptive name is, but I'm sure that it's blue. I'm just going to go over here and use the lid and just take a little teeny tiny bit to give it a little bit of sparkle and boom, done. You have a cool rock. It's Christmas in July, but we're kind of taking a beach trip today, and I hope you like this. I hope you guys try it. There is no such thing as perfect. It's simply art. It's simply painting. This is meant to be therapeutic and fun. Do some kindness rocks. Have a ball. And there is your finished product. Have fun painting. Bye-bye.